doing all of this in LibreOffice 7.2, just in case somebody needs to know that. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a label merge in LibreOffice. Um, just as a heads up, this is actually it's a little bit complicated and it requires doing two different steps. So I'm going to show you the first step obviously first, uh, which is to register a database, an address database. The second step is to actually do the label merge. I'm starting with uh, a list of addresses. These are, of course, fictional, but you'll see in here, this is in a spreadsheet, it's LibreOffice Calc. I have uh, first name, last name, street, city, state, zip. Um, always good practice to put those labels at the very top so, and that's actually going to be very necessary for this. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is actually to register this list of addresses as an address database or data source. And to do that, you're going to follow a wizard in LibreOffice. So you go up to File, go down to Wizards, and at the bottom of that, you'll see Address Data Source. Um, this is going to open up the address data source registration wizard because you're going to register this as a data source in LibreOffice. So go ahead and click on that and you're going to get this. So uh, this first one, you'll see that you've got multiple options here. This first one is basically saying, okay, what is the format of your address book? Is it in Thunderbird? That's great that it plays nice with Thunderbird. I'm using an external data source, so I'm going to click on that. You'll see that we get an extra option in here. When you hit next, it's going to ask you, okay, so where is this? We're going to have to get some more information. This is going to basically open like a second wizard. It's a sub wizard of a wizard, I guess. Um, but click on settings and you'll see that it gives you a whole bunch of options to choose from. So you've got a bunch of options in here. I'm just going to leave it as spreadsheet and click next. And then it's going to ask me, where is that spreadsheet? So I'm going to browse to the one that I'm actually using, which is on my desktop. Um, and if you want, this is it's kind of interesting, you can test the connection here. Uh, the resulting window is not all that informative. Basically it just says yes it worked. Uh, I haven't yet found one where it says no it didn't work. When you're done go ahead and hit finish and you'll see that it skips one piece in here which is the table selection. That's because I only have one sheet. If I had multiple sheets, then it would it would give me the option to check that, uh, to, to work with that, but it doesn't. So the next piece is actually to assign these columns here, which are going to be your fields, you're going to assign those to their corresponding values. So right here in first name, I've got first name, so I'll just select that. Last name is last name. Street, of course, uh, zip city and state. If you are of course outside the US and you need other information or you need country or additional information you can always do that. And I will note one thing that's kind of weird right here. Right now it's got like a temporary name of this data source called addresses. When you finish this little piece right here you'll get to change the name of it in the next uh, in the next wizard step. Anyway, so I've assigned all of these. You can actually technically skip this step, uh, but it's a useful step to actually do just because it's going to make it easier to create everything later. So I hit OK. Here's where you actually get to change the name of that. So I'm going to change this to Folk Artist Addresses just for fun. As for the other information on this, um, if you leave this on, it's going to actually save the address book definition into the document that you're working on, which is this one right here. Um, that can be very useful. You can also make this address book available to other modules in LibreOffice. I'm going to leave both of them checked and you'll see that I might get a prompt when I do basically saying, are you sure you want to override this? But um, you don't have to actually do either of those. So I'm going to hit finish and you'll see, yeah, it's going to overwrite my existing file because it's overwriting the file that I had up, this one, with the information about this being a database. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Now here's the weird part. We did all of that work, but we don't have any labels. Nothing looks like it's happened. Something has happened, and I'm going to show you where it happened, but it's kind of weird that we had to do all of that with nothing really to show for it. To see the database or the data source that we just created, go up to View and down to Data Sources, and there is our 
data source. So we just created it, LibreOffice has registered it, and inside there you can actually find all of the information that's right here. So that information is now stored as a database uh, that's an address database, and we can pull all of the relevant information when we do our labels merge. So that is the end of part one. Now we actually move into doing the label merge. All right, so now to do the label merge. The label merge isn't exactly a wizard, but it's kind of like that. We're going to go up to File, down to New, and then right here you'll see Labels. So we're going to click on this, and this screen is actually the one that we're going to use for this. In here is where you're going to build your labels. First, we need to find our database. This is the one that we want, and you'll see that these are the two that I just showed you. So we're going to pull folk artist addresses. The table out of that database is just sheet one. That's the only sheet that I had for my list of addresses. If you had multiple sheets, you'd have to choose from those. And then down here, we have all of our database fields. So I'm going to select on these individually to build the address. But do keep in mind as I do this, okay, so once I select one, I'm going to drop it over. I need to put in the proper punctuation. So for first and last name, I'm going to put a space in between those. Then for last name, I'm going to put that in. Um, let's see if we can, okay. And then I'm going to do a page return here, so just a return because I don't want those on the same line. Next will be the street address. Drop that in, another return, and then we're going to put in the city. So that's going to go there with a comma and a space. Next is the state, and one more space, and we're going to do the zip code. So we'll drop that in, and it is kind of not wrapping around, which is a little annoying. Okay, so that is basically my address label. So it's got all the information that I need for my address labels. Down here is where you get some additional information about specific types of labels. So if you have continuous labels, you'd obviously want to choose this. I'm doing an individual sheet. Here uh, you have your brands. Um, I'm just going to pick Avery, but there are lots of different brands in there. And here's the type. Okay, And they have quite a few in here. I don't always find the ones that I need, but they've got quite a few. So I'm just going to pick this one. It doesn't really matter in this case. You have two other options up here, two other tabs. This one is if you need to customize the dimensions of your label. So if your label doesn't quite fit, you could find the closest one and then customize it here. I have yet to really need that one. And then this next one does have an option that you're really, really, really going to want to check. So right here it says, do you want to print on the entire page or do you just want to do a single label? You could specify which, which label you want to print to. But this is the option that you really, really want to use, which is synchronize contents. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. So make sure you select that one. Once you're done with everything, you're going to click on New Document. And this part's a little bit weird, but it's going to pull up an entirely new Word file uh, or writer file that uh, is going to have all of your labels built into it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit New Document. So here is my new document. I'm going to pull this down just so you can see it, but I'm not going to use it quite yet. What you have inside this document uh, is all the fields that you just filled in, right? So first name, last name, street, city, state, zip. It's all formatted correctly. But it only shows the fields, and it's a little bit annoying, but it doesn't actually populate these with the data from our data source. Okay, So that's our data source. It's not actually putting those in. It will later, but it doesn't do it yet. What you're going to want to do at this point is any customizations that you want to make to these labels, um, you can do that. So let's say that you wanted to make the entire label bold. You can go ahead and do that. Here's why this is useful up here. Once you do that, just do it in this top left cell because any changes that you make here, you can actually synchronize across all of the labels and look at that. So if you make any changes in this one, it populates those or spreads those across all of them. It synchronizes all the labels. So if you wanted to do that, if you wanted to change the font, right? So you can, of course, pick any number of fonts in here. Uh, let's say that that's the font I want, and I want it to be size 14, OK? I can then hit Synchronize My Labels, and all the rest will look exactly the same. So this is why I said you probably want this, just because you're going to want your labels to look the same. Okay, so we've 
customized our labels, everything looks good. Now we're ready to actually print them. We still haven't seen exactly what they look like, but this is where we start to go. We're getting close. So the next step is to hit print. So we're going to hit this one. You can also go to file print, but we're just going to hit print. And you're going to get this prompt, and this has to be one of the worst prompts uh, in LibreOffice still, because what it says is your document contains address database fields. Do you want to print a form letter? Technically, no, we're not doing a form letter. We're doing a labels merge, but hit yes. <laughs> so they really need to add, like, do you want to print a form letter or la merge labels? They just need to add that there. So don't hit no, because yes, we're not doing a form letter. Hit yes, because it's still going to do it. So hit yes. And here on this mail merge uh, screen, which should really be a label merge screen, you're going to see that it's pulling the information from our data source, folk artist addresses, right? Uh, it's got all the information in here, and now you have some additional options for how you want to deal with this. Do you want to print all those records, or do you want to just print a couple? So you could choose to just do the first one, or the first three, or however many you want. Okay, you could select them, etc. The next piece here is the output. Do you want to put this, do you want to send this to the printer, or do you want to actually just save this as a file? You could do that too. It's perfectly fine to do either option. And in fact, if you're doing a whole bunch of labels all at once, it may not be a bad idea to test it by just printing this to a file first to make sure everything looks good. For me, I'm doing just the four. I'm going to send this to my printer, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. But you can adjust a whole bunch of things here. So let's get, uh, let's hit OK. And now we finally get our print dialog, and you'll see that it's actually giving me my merged labels. So I can finally see them, and this is where, I mean, I haven't printed anything yet, but this is where I can actually see, oh, look, it's actually working. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, here's my printer. I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to print a file because I don't need these as a tutorial. But you have a couple of options to change here. You can do pages, orientation, etc. Um, but this is the stage where you can actually finally see them. It looks like everything's working. That's great. I'll go ahead and print it to a file. Um, test. And there we go. So that is actually how you do a label merge in LibreOffice. And again, just a reminder, this is LibreOffice 7.2 that I'm working in.